everybody. This is a Lamley Showcase. We're going to mix in an unboxing and a preview because we've got the brand new second mix of 2020 of Hot Wheels Team Transport. ANJ Toys sent this case to me. Wheel Collectors has it as well. You can buy the sets that you want, but if you want the case from, from ANJ Toys, you can get it from them. I had the whole case sent because it's all new stuff in here. Typically, I would just get the stuff that's uh, brand new, but it's the whole case. So let's go ahead and open it up. I've been so excited to open this set up. So we're outside on the patio, just doing our thing. The weather is just far too nice to be inside. So let's have a look at this fantastic group. I mean, hopefully you've already seen it. I think I've even shown it on the page. Um, anyway, let's just get to it. Four new sets. Let's just walk through them as we go. And we will start with this. We're going to walk through and then we will go ahead and open up the first set. Oh my goodness. So I'm looking at these in person for the first time as well. And ha, we have an error. Look at that. It's a packaging error because it's not telling you what it is, but it's telling you right here. That won't be an error for long because we're going to rip that open. But it has the 69 Ford Mustang Boss 302 and the Retro Rig. Let's just look at the packaging while we're at it. There are the four sets. Typically what they'll do is they'll do two, new, two or three new sets and repeat one from the last mix. But in this case, it's all four new mixes which looks great. I think that's hilarious. Look at that. Um, 69 Ford Mustang Boss 302 in the Retro Rig. We'll talk about the models here in a little bit. There's Julian's art. That's the first set. Obviously, you can see I got the Ford set out because we're going to put those together. Here, I'll put that over here. Second set. I mean, we've got Ford, and now look at that. Moon Eyes. No error here. Volkswagen Classic Bug. This was the bug that was introduced last year in Car Culture plus the VW Transporter T1 pickup. I think this is the third time, right? Momo and the Magnus sets were first. Look at, oh, I just love taking in Julian's art on these sets because he's got a pretty big canvas to work with. And so excited that Moon Eyes is here. So we'll put that one off to the side. Moon Eyes seemed like a very appropriate um, topic, right? For, uh, or brand to use. Okay, we're gonna put this one to the side because that's the new castings. And uh, we'll go ahead and do this one. Another Ford set, 2016 Ford GT race car in Castro livery plus the Ford C800. We saw this one, see that we're going to combine it too because we had the Ford in the, the Ford truck and the Ford set. And now we have it together again. Kind of a combination of the retro style, the vintage style, and the new with the brand new Ford GT. Oh man, I can't wait to open these up. There is the art as well. We'll put this one right here and let's get to that other one that I wanted to show. This is the IWC Racing Mercedes set. Mercedes-Benz 300 SL. That is a new casting. It is actually a, uh, a take on the RLC. It's, uh, it's pretty much the RLC casting, but without the opening parts. And then this truck, w what an incredible hauler. This is the new Euro hauler. It is unlicensed, but it is incredible, and I cannot wait to see what they do with that one. There is the art as well. IWC, it's the watch company, and what a collaboration this is. We're going to have more on this one. Um, we're going to look at the models today, but uh, we'll have more on the background of this collaboration, which I think is incredibly cool. All right, we've got them out. Let's open them up. All right, we will start with the error set, which is actually number 19. Oh man, that's funny. I would keep it, but uh, we got to open these up. Here is the artwork. We'll take it in for a second, then we'll get these open. I already showed you the back. Uh, this is a match to the Ford set that came out last year, so we're going to put those together. Why not, right? But here we go. It is the 69 Ford Mustang Boss 302 and the Retro Rig. Really, really digging this one. All right. Let's have a look. We will start with the Mustang itself in Ford race team livery. So in that classic blue Ford blue with the Trans Am rims, which looks so cool. Um, that's pretty much the standard rims on this car. This one has the plastic spoiler. So it's the classic premium um, release of this one. So this one would match real nicely with like the vintage racing casting, which this was made for. It has the uh, full headlights on the front. 
the uh, I think it even has the roll cage, which is kind of cool. So this is a real this is a the classic casting of the '69 Mustang in the Ford livery, and then of course you know you have the uh, retro rig, which we've seen this few times. Uh, in a and this one fits the uh, the era for sure, and it has the same. It's it's the race team. All oh, that. Oh my gosh, it looks cool. So we got to put these together. That's what we got to do first. Is just uh, so let's put the Mustang here. We can just play for a little bit, right? So. These were obviously meant to be done together, uh, to be paired together. Obviously, the Ford Galaxy with the Ford, what is it, the C1800. So the first thing you can do, which I'm most curious about, and I don't want to hold it over, but uh, we can put the Galaxy right inside here and the Mustang on top. These were meant to be a uh, two-car hauler, and uh, now it is complete because you can put the Mustang on it as well and match those two up. So the C800, it's just really kind of, I love the retro rig and it's appropriate here and this is such a cool set, but uh, this is kind of like the completion of the C800, C800 set, right? The, um, that uh, came out last year, but obviously we're gonna have to put them together. That looks so incredibly cool. All right, so let's put these back over here. And let's move on to the another Ford set to the number 20, the 2016 Ford GT race and the Ford C800. Yeah, a mix of the two styles, but who cares? So well, let's just look at the art first before we open it up. I actually like this combination. Um, there's some, are there some modern haulers? I think Hot Wheels has done some of the Japanese haulers, but this one works. Why not do, it's a Ford theme, go with it. Um, and there's no reason to do the C800 with the Mustang. So... Oops, let's make sure I'm pulling these out. And here we are, well, I'll hold this up. So another C800, so we can, maybe we'll get another Castrol car to complete this set at some point, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, looking at the set together, let's look at the Ford GT race car. I'm really digging this. This is the third time in premium. This has been in, um, was it Forza or Gran Turismo? I don't remember. Uh, which was an okay version, but then they really did, they did a, an homage to the uh, Le Mans winner in car culture, right? Uh, last year, and now we have it in this Castro livery, which is nice and complete. You got the wraparound deco, man, this is awesome. They've even uh, put some details on the base here, the Echo Boost and the, um, let's see, I'm trying to see the Ford and the Brembo, it's really cool. Echo, Eco on the spoiler as well, Ford Performance. I love that one. Dig it with those wheels as well. And then of course, paired with the truck itself. Look at that, two of these, two of these C800s. I really like this casting. It looks so cool together, um, the vintage truck. And you know what, why not? Wouldn't they look cool rolling in at Le Mans with that car sitting on the back with a with a vintage C800 truck hauling it in. Yes, it would. Number 21 is the Mercedes-Benz and the IWC, but we're gonna save that for last because it's the new stuff, but uh, this is great. This is the Volkswagen Classic Bug and the VW Transporter T1 pickup looking fantastic. Oh, look at it. even the wheels are new for this one, I believe in Moon Eyes livery. Moon Eyes is a perfect team transport set. You've got these Euro style rims on it. Um, well, let's just open it up. Well, art. And you can see that uh, Julian has put the Moon Eyes shop in Southern California in the background. This is the same like what they did. This is the actual shop that they did with the JDM Legends, right? Uh, the JDM Legends set last year. So I love that as the background. All right. Two licensed haulers in this set, which is nice, the VW and the Ford. Don't drop, don't drop, don't drop. Dropped. Not bad though, on the plastic is okay. All right, let's put this uh, hauler together. I don't know, we'll just start with the hauler, right? Go with Moon. This in and itself could just be its own casting, right? My daughter is so excited about this one. She's gonna try and steal this from me, but uh, I'm getting one from Wheel Collectors for her Moon Eyes collection. She absolutely loves Moon Eyes. She has the Moon Eyes vans and everything else. Not the van, the vans, the shoes, which are really cool. This one, it's just perfect. This is the, I love the retro Momo. 
Um, but this in the Mo in the Moon Eyes Deco might be the best version of the of the transporter. Um, and then here the Beetle looked good last year in the four spoke wheels, and now we have it in the um, Arrow style, right? Which looks really good with the Moon Eyes Deco. Moon Eyes done subtle. Oh, look at the VW on the front hood. The Moon Eyes on the side. Oh, that is just fabulous. And I think. If I'm not mistaken, is this the first time we've seen these really small aero style rims on the uh, on the front? So I'm imagining maybe Hot Wheels not only for this set, but I'd imagine they have some plans for those wheels and trying to think of what they would be doing them for is kind of exciting. I don't know, but uh, there's some ideas there. Yeah, my mind's already racing. Let's get to it. IWC. This is the watch company. I see. They're, I saw they're releasing their new line, the Portuguesa, and the prices are. Um, well, if you can't get the watch for thirty-two grand, at least you can get this set for what six bucks, which in the store, which is not bad, right? To get something branded IWC, IWC Racing. There's a whole story with this Mercedes. It's an actual car. It's based on their actual car. Uh, you can go, I believe, on YouTube or on their website and see it. And I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna give a lot more background on this very, very soon. Um, because I'm uh, going to be talking to the people at IWC about it, which is really cool. So there is the art. Let's take a look at this hauler and this car. Both are new. We've obviously seen the 300 SL as debut in the um, in the RLC, but what's been done here, and I think uh, Manson is the designer who's worked on this, um, took that, took Brandon's design, and turn it into you know this this premium style, but not the RLC premium with the opening doors. So this one won't have the opening doors on it. Oh my goodness, that is. Oh my goodness. So we have this piece in here. We'll get that out there. It is on the ground, and here's the hauler. So let's look at the car. Oh my goodness. All right. So here it is. When I do the photography, there's no reason. This is essentially the same casting. Obviously, it does not have the opening doors which is okay. I mean, the gullwing doors are very, very cool, but for this, for this price range, they're going to go with this casting. So it's been retooled. Um, and this is, like I said, a real car. And this is a real deco on this IWC 300, Mercedes 300 SL. Looks really good with those classic steely rims. And I love that this is going because this, because now this can now be a car culture model and not just an RLC exclusive. So, you know, you could see them doing the same thing with maybe like the Lamborghini Countach go premium on that. Actually, they did basic, right, with the light bar on it, but gives them some options, and I dig it. All right, let's have a look at, ooh, this is heavy, at this Euro hauler. There's the base. I don't know if you can see anything in this uh, shadowing. So this has, it's metal through the side into the front. I think this top might be, this top piece might be plastic. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's got the GT rims on it. I like how they've done it. And then, yeah, metal base, everything. So this is a premium model. And then if I show you, you can see that the car, you know, it's a box truck. So the car can go in there and snap shut. And there you go. That is cool. And obviously, obviously we're going to see this used, I'm sure, quite a bit. The IWC portion of this is so interesting. It's such a brand that you don't expect to all of a sudden see on a Hot Wheels car. But um, incredibly, incredibly cool. And uh, I'm excited. Maybe we'll see with this licensing agreement some really, really cool stuff uh, coming out in the future to be sure. There you go. Team Transport Mix 2 is awesome for 2020. Four new sets, all all would be signature sets in, other, in previous releases, but I think all of these just nail it. There's not a weak one in this bunch at all, but there really hasn't been a Team Transport at all as well. You guys tell me what you think. What a fantastic set. I am digging it. Thank you, AJ Twice, for sending it. Thanks, everybody, for letting me do these outdoor features. They're fun. Bye.